all this talk about Pluto in Aquarius. Well, on June 11, 2023, Pluto will retrograde back into Capricorn and is going to be there into the early days of 2024. In January, that's when Pluto will enter Aquarius again. And then as we move further into 2024, we'll get a little bit of a dip in and out before it is that Pluto comfortably settles into Aquarius for a nice long stay of about 20 years. So this is a life-changing, world-changing transit that we are on the precipice of. But at the same time, we're ending a very big life-changing transit as well. There has been this pronounced attention paid to success and tradition and power and power dynamics uh, to power inequalities, especially economic inequality. Now they say wherever Pluto goes, he shows us the dark side. Well, I think he kind of makes us look at what actually is. It's like we can't turn away from it. We have to acknowledge and change things and shift things from the inside out, but also look at how intense or maybe even messy it can be. This has been the celebration of ruthlessness, especially for the sake of success. Now, where it is you're wrapping up some of these loose ends depends largely on your sun sign, your rising sign, maybe even your moon sign. You want to take all into consideration and synthesize the information as you contemplate exactly where it is you've had an increase of intensity, maybe even people who are a little bit out there, a little bit nutty, but also where it is now as part of moving forward. Aries, it could be that you have been obsessed about achieving a particular goal, especially where it comes to career and life purpose, or you realized what you were so intent on achieving. Well, it seems superficial to you now. Some power struggles or a sense of unfairness, particularly with bosses and people in positions of authority. Now with this Pluto retrograde, you get to realize what really matters where it comes to your purpose and what success means to you. Taurus, long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, and the philosophies that guide your life. There can be a lot of intensity around these matters, perhaps more personally having to do with your ethics and feeling a sense of conviction to live them. But of course, this can be a sense of you pouring a lot of yourself to finally complete a matter, perhaps a legal matter or higher education. Now, regardless, it is this time that really helps you to understand where you stand in relation to the world. Gemini, massive changes, transformations, looking at the truth that you keep from others and the secrets you consciously keep. Well, this can be a time of emotional intensity. Conversely, you are especially focused on what's happening with a financial institution, perhaps trying to access or figure out matters with a loan, mortgage, a scholarship, and having to go back and forth with these institutions, well, not always easy. However, when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. You're learning powerful things about yourself along the way. Cancer relationships, whether that's business partnerships or professional alliances, but certainly romantic connections as well. Boy, could they get messy and complicated along with people maybe sometimes feeling that they're not really being fair or not emotionally balanced well at least now you get to understand more deeply and figure out what it is that's going to help you to move towards more stable connections leo your workplace the type of work you do your clients your customers your co-workers you might have felt that some of them were unreasonable at times but you've certainly learned what it is that is your work to do how to empower yourself in those small moments but also how it is you want to go about interacting with others in your daily life health as well may have come into focus as you learned to get to a place where you truly felt that something within you was strong and solid Virgo, romance, flirtation is one way this energy might have shown up and those would have been very intense. Connecting with others in a flirtatious way uh, would have lent itself to moments that were powerful catalysts in your life for more sweeping change. Your creativity likely took on greater focus as well as your understanding of happiness and joy. For some, this was greater focus on a matter related to a child in your life and this gives you a chance to really figure out what has been effective 
put those things into place knowing that you'll be that much better for it once Pluto moves ahead and out of the sign of Capricorn. Libra, your home, your family of origin and your past, whether this is your living situation, whether this is choosing to isolate at key moments and finding a greater sense of home within you or reconciling with your past and that really is the full weight of that word, you have had to cleanse and address some very strong feelings. This has given you a chance to look at the power dynamics within your family of origin and decide what patterns you're going to continue and where it is now you're ready to elevate the energy. Scorpio, siblings, cousins, and neighbors. These people were probably a drama a minute at times, maybe asked for a lot of your energy, maybe brought a certain intensity that wasn't always comfortable to you. Also the power of communication, maybe even some unfair uh, gossip that didn't feel ethical or right to you. All of that taught you to use your words cautiously. And in the process, you learned how powerful the power of asking actually is. It is through asking you've been able to gain so much. Sagittarius, your money, the money you earn, the money you spend, well, at times it might have felt all very intense, very overwhelming, or very much not in your power. But it helped you to understand what really does matter, what's essential, and all that you have and sometimes inherently so. Self-love, self-esteem, you likely did a whole lot of work in that regard as part of understanding those core things within you that you can love. Capricorn, this is identity. This is you and you knowing yourself as powerful. It might have also been you becoming a little obsessive at times, especially where it comes to the goals that you wished to achieve. And yet in the process, you realize just how strong you are. You have the ability to make anything happen and where it was that that wasn't the case, those lessons might have been hard, but you learned to accept it. Aquarius, what is taking place on levels of soul, psyche, and spirit? Something within you has felt a stirring. And in a way, this is one of the easier placements of Pluto in that some of the more powerless energies can be rather subdued. Sometimes you just need a lot more rest. However, remember what this means is Pluto is gearing up to move into your sign much more permanently. And that's going to bring with it a huge shift on levels of identity. You get a little breather now. Enjoy it. Pisces, friendships and group alliances. Over the course of this time, you probably poured a lot of yourself in the direction of your participation in certain groups and those group dynamics. Well, now you get to really get honest with yourself about who your friends actually are. What is the true nature of certain dynamics? And where is it that just a false friend just doesn't work for you? This clarifies your relationship to larger community as well, but also helps you to be stronger on your own.